San Jose is more of a busy city and it's like the heart of Costa Rica as there's always a lot of people it's vibrant colors and street art in every corner We got lo mein and what do you call this? They call it something. Sepoy or something like that. Basically, it's like food. <laughs> I got myself a Coke. And then Charlos got himself a Fanta. Thank you, sure with me because I kind of want a Fanta. Taste the Coke, it tastes really good. It's sweet, but it's good. It's like the second day was way better as we woke up energized. We had free breakfast at the place we were staying. And overall, that place was so gorgeous. He wanted my food that bad. The Mercado Central was about seven minutes walking from our place. And it was just gorgeous. It was not too rushed. We ended up going to see if we could find a good coffee spot, which we did. We found Bolio, which the coffee was insanely good. I think what I really love about Costa Rica is the colors they put on everything. Oh, this is a presentation. It's calling to the eye. We were seeing these cool yet different buildings. Lolita, which is a really good spot if you want different types of foods or you have picky eaters because they have everything and the ambience is so nice it's gorgeous and it's lit up it's so creative and i just love the vibes on the bottom left there was wine and liquor and then right where we passed is pizza place again you can tell it's very colorful it's a hangout spot and the steak there was amazing too I ended up getting ice cream at Jardin de Loritas too. They had this one place I cannot recall, but it's an ice cream shop. Oh, Dios mío, look. Mucho gusto. Buenos días. Oh, Dios mío. Están, están hermosas. Muchas gracias. Desde mil colones en Arabia. Okay, perfecto. Yeah. I see you get this mushroom. This is the one. Is it 500? Yes. Oh, do you do it? Yes. Yes. I'm going to eat some meat. Just your hands. Oh, los aretes están tan hermosos. También a 500, ¿verdad? 500, estos y estos también. I ended up getting coffee here as well, and it wasn't the best. 
but coffee's coffee, so I still drink it. Now, we ended up going to a bakery slash pastry shop, and we got a few things just in case we wanted a snack on something. My boyfriend's dad was craving coco the whole entire trip, coco and cheese. We had to get him to satisfy his craving. You can see it's so vibrant, it's so beautiful. You see all these people walking and it's just relaxing. Look at those ants, they work so hard. Punta Arenas, Costa Rica is a really beautiful coastal gateway to paradise. It's a charming port city and it has beautiful beaches. And I just want to say to the Ticos that y'all are the friendliest people ever. Y'all are accepting and, and y'all are welcoming, which I love. Ooh, let's go, guys. I think this is the bathroom. Yeah, this is the bathroom. Two beds. Oh, we have a fridge! And if you're cold, open it. It's pretty cold. <laughs> oh, wait, did I say if you're cold? Oh, this is nice. We ended up staying at Nimble Lofts, and it was really cute. It was a bit small, but it was still cute. And the windows that showcased the beach were everything. I fell in love with that. In Punta Arenas, you can find any type of seafood because you're near water. And what I got mostly was ceviche. Also, they offer shaved ice treats with condensed milk, fruit, and a scoop of ice cream. And it's just such a regular treat that everybody gets there. The next morning, we woke up early and headed to the ferry to go to Montezuma. The ferry takes about an hour the ride on the ferry was really nice and it was just beautiful seeing the sea. We ended up taking very short drives in Montezuma because everything was pretty close by. To me, Montezuma was like a hidden gem, even though it's pretty known. If I could describe it, it'd be like how the jungle meets the ocean. And life feels so slowed down. And I think that's very beautiful. It's very easy to unwind 
because there's nature all around you. It's surrounding you from the water to the rocks to the trees to the wind. Everything feels healing. <laughs> it says Corrientes peligrosas. Estamos en Costa Rica y estamos en Montezuma, la playa de Montezuma está hermosa. Yo creo que todos saben que somos turistas. Monteverde is truly amazing. I feel like I stepped in a brand new world while I was there because there's so much wildlife and trees all around you. There's mist rolling throughout the trees. The place that we stayed at was really nice and beautiful and the guy who hosted us was such a sweetheart. I love the hills. It felt like I was in is giving Calabasas a rich neighborhood. I genuinely love the place so much. So much greenery and mystery and there goes I. Toodles. This is so nice. These are crazy here. So this is our home for two nights. Um, I'm obsessed with these. I wanna see those. Those are gorgeous, wait. Yeah, those are pretty. Those are vibe for real. Monte Verde is known for the Monte in the Verde. One of the things that we had done was a night tour, which you'll see later on. But it was really fun as there was many people with us.
Gracias. Hola, mi nombre es Mario y yo soy guía naturalista en Monteverde. Pura vida. Los colores son para diferentes funciones. Una es atracción. Apaga la luz. Atracción. Sí. Pero hermosa está. Vamos a ver si ¿sí puede llegar, pero a veces es complicado porque la, el camino a veces es muy angosto. Of course, you won't always see sloths or other animals because nature is naturing and it's we're lucky to spot them if so. Esa flor produce néctar y los murciélagos, eh, un grupo de murciélagos que consume néctar, llega ahí. Uh -huh. Entonces, esta serpiente ya está descansando. Hola, <risa> Usted anda buscando todo. <risa> Tiene ojo para esto. El que busca encuentra. Sí. <risa> Yo sugar caramel bites. They're individually I feel like I'm missing my lashes, but it's okay. Estamos yendo al centro de Monteverde porque ahorita andamos en Monteverde y vamos a ver todo lo que tienen, todo lo bonito y ando como bien feliz y sí, se mira bien chido, vámonos.
hacia Tilarán y irse bordeando del otro lado totalmente del lado. Uh -huh. Hasta que llega uno ahí que la fortuna está del otro lado del volcán. We're heading up El Tigre. I'm very much excited. Um, it should take around like three hours, but I don't think it takes that long to walk everything. I think it's mostly because people take their time, right? <laughs> Chella's like, I'm tired. <laughs> Freaking view is amazing. Um, genuinely, I think I'm gonna like this trip. I think, as of right now, I might rate it like a 10 out of 10. We'll see if it lowers anymore. We'll see y'all later. Bye. <gasps> First waterfall. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Muchos de estas palabras no conocemos. Oh, I already hear one for real. Yay. Look at this. What is this? This tree looks like it's 400 years old. I'm just kidding. The fact that it fell from its tree trunks is insane. But look how thick it is. It's thick as hell. mud we spotted a where the hell did it go i said we spotted a butterfly i love 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 el tigre waterfall it's a bit of a hike to get there but trust me it's worth every step you'll trek through lush trails crossing bridges and walk alongside rivers with views that'll just take your breath away there's nothing but nature Oh, shit. <laughs> I double dog dare you to eat these little berries right now. I don't believe they do. <laughs> yeah, you believe them now, motherfucker? Be careful, babe. And it makes you feel like you can literally take a breath in and you'll be okay. Why are you walking like a grandpa? <laughs> This waterfall was mesmerizing to look at and I feel like me and my boyfriend are always going to remember it because it just holds a special place in our heart and our memories will forever be fond of it.
The waterfall just kept getting more amazing every single time we saw another one. Oh, he got scared. I think going to the night tour really helped us see what we can't see on a usual basis. This was all such a healing process for me as I connect with nature so much and I love hiking so this was just the cherry on top. I loved horse riding, it was so beautiful and I just wish I could really get on a horse and be like yeehaw even though I know I'm from Texas. This was our last day in Monte Verde, which meant our trip was coming to an end. We ended up going to a lot of souvenir shops to go look around and get things for our family members and friends. This one by Vitoli is actually the guy who rents out the property. And we ended up getting coffee. It was pretty good and they had coffee tastings which was amazing. We had to play with the cat because we love kitty cat. Mission accomplished. He finally got his cheese. My mom's gonna beat his ass when he gets some. <laughs> <laughs>